Okay, so now that you have filled the zeros and you know you have uh, filled those values with either a zero or then a forward fill or a backward fill, uh, you want something which is very close to the actual value. So in our case over here, let's see, you know, we have something like uh, df, okay, and then you have this, and you want something in this range, like between 32 to 28. So what you could do is, you know, you could just use some uh, use a method called uh, interpolate. So what that does is, uh, you know, it will try to fill in the value with something that's very close to this. So if you see now, new df. So now you see it has filled in 30 over here, right? So we had 32 and then you had 28 and 30 was 0. So it filled in something in between this. Now this looks very good, uh, better than just filling in something like 0 or just some value which is a forward fill. Sometimes that makes sense but uh, for temperature it might not be the best way. So this interpolate looks good. Now let's take this one step further and what you could say is that you know this 30 is very close to the 4th and then on the 5th you had 28 so maybe this still isn't better we want something closer to this right so what you could do over here is just change this and write method as time okay so it will consider the time and then fill in these values. So now you see what it has done is instead of 30 it's taken 29. So it has considered this column, the day column in calculating this value. So this is really cool and it's really helpful and it helps you to get values which are closer to the actual range for empty values. Right? So that's interpolate. That's it. Thanks.